a submarine dives to a depth of 50 meters in seawater, which has a density of 1,025 kilograms per meter cubed. And that's slightly more than fresh water because of the dissolved salt. Now, when we're asked to calculate the total pressure acting on the hull of the submarine at this depth, and notice that um, we're asked for the total pressure, we're going to need to consider the atmospheric pressure above the water as well, which will be pushing down as well as the pressure due to the, the uh, depth beneath the, uh, the seawater. So we know the gravitational field strength is G at 10 newtons per kilogram, and the atmospheric pressure up here is 101 kilopascals. So let's set up a calculation and see if we can work out the total pressure on the hull. So to begin with, let's do a, a little um, diagram just to show what's going on here. And uh, use the submarine there. So here's the surface. We know that uh, the atmospheric pressure is, is 101 kilopascals. And Kilo means a thousand, so that's a hundred and one thousand pascals. And remember that the unit of pressure, the pascal, is also the same thing as newtons per meter squared. So the the depth that the submarine is at is h. I know it's a bit weird calling depth h. Um, height is usually going up, but in this case we're going down. It's the depth beneath the water, water's surface. Okay, and uh, let's do a data list. We know that the, the depth is 50 meters. We know that the density of seawater is 1,025 kilograms for every meter cubed of seawater. The gravitational field strength of Earth is 10 newtons for every kilogram. And we are looking for the, the pressure, the total pressure, if you like, P tot equals question mark. And that's going to be coming out in pascals or newtons per meter squared. They both mean the same thing. What equation will link these together? Well, Pressure at a depth h in liquid is given by rho times g times h. So now let's put the, the numbers in. 1025 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 50 meters. And that's going to give us uh, 512,500 pascals. Okay, now that's the pressure due to the water only. We've now got to add on the atmospheric pressure, which is above the water, which is the air pressure pushing down on the water, which will be transmitted down here as well. So we can say that the, the total, the P tot pressure, is going to be 512,500 plus 101,000. Remember, kilo means a thousand. And adding those up, we get 613,500 pascals. And let's put that into kilo pascals because it's a bit easier to read. 613.5 kilopascals or that would be kilonewtons per meter squared. And so that's the calculation for finding the pressure underneath uh, a body of water and making sure we're adding on the atmospheric pressure, which is also acting on the, the surface of the water and being transmitted down to the, to the depth of the submarine as well.